What's up, degenerates? Right, a new week begins racing. A uh, little bit kind of in and out at the minute, but however, I have come down on a couple and um, one reserve, so we might have three. One reserve if it gets in a 25 to 1, that's definitely a good horse. Quick word on Saturday, lovely to hit them with the each way Trixie, bringing in a lovely 20 points profit on Saturday after what was a cracking week on the channel. On the service on Saturday for me, very, very frustrating. Landed one nice winner with a mare at six points win at 13 to 8. She absolutely bolted in Nashua. I just marked her up last year as a really good filly with a big engine. And she showed it this year. I just thought she was physically too weak last, too leggy. And she showed it this year. Then I had Alareb, a strong bet on Alareb. Just, and just the rider didn't get any cover. She sent it for home, three and a half furlongs out. It's the winner everywhere, but she gets done on the lines. Just painful. He's a hold-up horse, and he only ever hits the front the last kind of two or three strides. So I knew we were cooked when she kicked on. Even though she was a couple of lengths clear of the field, I still knew we were going to uh, get done. So it was painful. Then we had one in Limerick just done on the last stride at the line. Laid everywhere. So just a frustrating Saturday, but I'll have them. We'll move on to this week. I have one for the service tomorrow, and uh, it's a strong bet, and I will be absolutely flabbergasted if this loses. I think it's handicapped to win coming in off the back of a good run and uh, we'll be collecting tomorrow and if not you know uh, the, the horse is good enough to win it's in rude health and uh, yeah be a strong bet tomorrow on the service so uh, let's crush them tomorrow mightn't be a massive price but it'll be value at the price okay right tomorrow for youtube the 250 in air this is a very interesting horse for me lads Life on the Rocks. Life on the Rocks is running off a of mark of 73. Has some okay form, but there's one run this horse has when he was beaten by a horse that I know very well. He was beaten by a horse called Tribal Art. Tribal Art has gone on. He looked a very good horse at one stage. He disappointed his last two runs of the season. However, they gave him a wind up and Tribal Art came back and won again in Wolverhampton. Very highly rated horse, progressive horse. And this horse, Renham, uh, I think it was to a half length that day. There wasn't much between them. And off a mark of 73, it's possible with the stable going very well. Life on the rocks could be well handicapped if fit, fit and ready to go first time. So a pint win, 3 to 1, 2.50 in air. And then in the 5.15 at Nais, Charlton or Carlton Banks, is it? Or Carlton Banks. I think it's Carlton Banks we go with. You'll know the horse. Colin Keane's riding the horse in the 5.15. It's running off a mark of 80. It's very unexposed as a sprinter. Now, it did win on very soft ground, but I don't, a print, a by Prince Alaire should be fine on, on a better surface. And uh, I just think it's very unexposed as a sprinter. Colin Keane on board. And uh, Johnny Levin's trains it does very well with these types of horses. And I just feel if there's a horse in here that could scale out of this kind of grade, this could be it. So we'll go a pint win 11 to 4 Carlton Banks. And then in the 6.45, get your notebooks ready because I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. Right, Star Angel, well beaten on, on Maiden. Everybody will probably be disappointed. And uh, I'm not me. I know this is a very good filly, lads. She is owned by Ammo Racing and a uh, lovely type. I think she's by Sea the Stars. Don't quote me, but if I, if I go back to when she ran in Leperstown, she is a decent type. She's 25 to 1. We go a pint each way. She is a reserve. Let's hope she gets in. And uh, mark my words, she's no 25 to 1 shot. A lot went wrong for her on debut. She was green in a, in a big field in a race where things just happened to kind of close around her at crucial stages. And I reckon that Star Angel, put that name into your notebook, is a very decent filly. That's what I reckon. Uh, and uh, yeah, people might look at the first run and think disappointing. Not at all. This filly is going to uh, win some nice races. She might be uh, better, you know, the back end of the year. But she's definitely a really, really nice type. And trained by Johnny Murta. Right, that's for tomorrow. Take care, bet safe. What a night last night in the boxing. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And as always, if you see a bucky, kick him in the nuts.